Berlin is ranked number 12 in a data set of 100 top cities that are becoming the object of desire <laughs> of those buying, basically, urban land. The future of Berlin has to be, uh, you know, will become much more dependent on private investment. So Berlin is, <laughs> is uh, going to have to, and is starting to have to, think about how it enjoys investment. What we have to start to think about is some of the dark matter. And I think unless we start to think about actually how we finance cities, finance cities and finance the systems of cities, not just actually the products and not the buildings, unless we talk about governance in a new way, unless we talk about actually the ethics and organization of cities in new ways, I think we're playing around the edges. I think the biggest challenge today is that we know that we cannot uh, plan or design the city just by ourselves. We can only do it in a very close interaction with civil society, with the people that make the city. Berlin is at the front for me of the thinking about how to transform how to have a democratic transformation of the, of the public realm and, uh, and urbanism. Well, I believe that urban commons is a really a fundamental tool towards working against austerity and neoliberal enclosures in the city. And it's, it's an important um, way for the people to really co-produce space and co-produce institutions and really regain a sense of participation in the cities. Ich finde das Motto, das anders machen, klingt sehr gut. Finde ich sehr zeitgenössisch, modern, anders machen. Wir haben damals, wo ist der Garten, auch so ein bisschen nicht provokativ, aber so mehr so mit Lust verbunden. Das haben die Leute auch sehr gut verstanden und ist vermitteln worden. Und das anders machen, glaube ich, funktioniert sehr gut. Das ist nicht arrogant. Das ist eigentlich wirklich so ein Manifest, aber auch nicht aggressiv. Das mag ich sehr. A roof water farm is made by people's vision. So it's not a technical system, it's much more a social system where, which enables you to produce your own food. It's bringing infrastructural management to a completely other level than it's organized right now. And if you look to it from that side, it makes the city much more equal than the city is in our days. überhaupt in die Stadt zu bekommen. Also es gibt nicht mehr genügend Anbauflächen und solche kleinen Orte mitten in der Stadt sind ein Ansatzpunkt für vielleicht eine spätere Lösung, das Essen direkt in der Stadt anzubauen und an die Kunden auch zu bringen.
festival is uh, not only focusing on the objects, that, that is to say on the individual buildings, but it gives a lot of attention to the people, to the neighborhoods. And that's why I think this festival is so important because it dynamizes the whole process of thinking about architecture. It is really a city in which you have a lot of groups and a festival could, it could give the chance to build a network and people know from each other, know more about each other after this festival. I use just to work and to work and so it's a very good occasion to stop working and to think and to discuss and to talk about what you are doing. So in this way you get in this network, you meet people and you can really reframe your own doing and in the best way you get new inspirations. Berlin has, has uh, this informal city planning coming from architects, from people that build their own homes, that uh, create new communities, have new ideas how the city is used and how open space is revitalized. But this is informal, it's not, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a voice, it doesn't have a platform. The next city is bringing this platform to Berlin, it's overdue. You know? Bahrhütte is the connection point from all the sites which will pop up soon and uh, we want the Bahrhütte to connect us with uh, the city. As private investors we want to take responsibility and make our own city. We want to belong to this city and to invest in this city and we don't need uh, uh, third developers. When you move in an apartment you um, get to know your neighborhood after moving in. Here we have the, the really great um, process to get involved. You, you get close to your future neighborhood. Why am I here? Um, I mentioned the democratization of urbanism. Berlin is the mecca for that. Make City has been an opportunity to, to see a critical mass, a congregation of the kind of projects that, that are the forefront of the democratization of urbanism.
why I think Make City is starting to be really, really po potent is because I think it's fundamentally challenging the idea of the city as a system, as opposed to city as just the physical architecture or the urban design or the public services that go into it, or actually the design biases that are structured into it. When we start to talk from that lens, I think Make City is going to reframe the conversation of urbanism for the 21st century.